Hi everybody, this is my beginner's guide to getting started with your new Shadow Boost Cloud Gaming PC. Uh, don't worry, the audio quality and video quality will get better. And it all starts with your internet connection before you even start doing anything on the internet. And you want to have a wired connection. So you want to use a LAN from your LAN cable from your router into the computer you're going to be using. Now normally you would go in, in this computer in there. But for some reason, this type of Acer Aspire laptop has a really crap LAN controller, and it fails all the time. So if your laptop does that, get one of these. This is a USB hub with a LAN adapter, and then this goes round to my router. So we've got a wired connection. Now if you're saying, well, wait a minute, I can't use a wired connection in my house. I can't run a wire from my router to my uh, my computer that I'm running my shadow on, then you want to get these power line adapters. These are the next step down. Better than wireless, but not quite as good as wireless. So what these do is you plug one of these in next to where your router is, and you plug a LAN cable into it, and then you plug one of these in near where your computer is. You shouldn't really do it through an extension lead like this, but what the hey? And then that plugs in to your router, which then plugs in to your computer. Finally, if you have to really go wireless and there's nothing else you can do, if you can, go with a 5.6 gigahertz option and obviously get everything as close as you can. Now the other thing you'll want to do, uh, if you're going to use a TV, is take a HDMI lead and connect it to your telly, because one of the most amazing things is actually to... Um, to play 1080p 60 frames a second true at high graphical settings on your telly so you'll want to set that up as well I'll go more into how you set that up on your laptop soon and then you'll also want another HDMI lead uh, sorry a USB lead da -da -da, like this it goes all the way around here on my one where's the end of it can I find the end it's very 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 long cable you want something like this set up like so because you'll want that for your controller that you're going to connect in and then the other thing is we have got a USB mic set up. Um, now your headset da -da -da, like that is probably is going to just really plug into your laptop probably or your computer my headset mics about there or I guess you could plug it into your TV or you could actually you could plug it into your um, you could plug it into your controller as well couldn't you and play that way. Anyway, there we go. That's kind of the hardware setup. Now let's go more into setting the software up. Okay, so the next thing to do is to download the Shadow app to your local computer, your local old laptop or PC. So just go to Shadow Tech, go to Download and Download Shadow for Windows. Fire it up, um, enter all your details, and your Shadow will then appear it won't look like this um, because <laughs> it'll do all the installing first then you can choose what to do um, and you can obviously this is your Windows 10 PC in the cloud so as you can see here I've, uh, I've changed the desktop wallpaper now what you want to get installed is you want to uh, first you want to install Chrome so fire up uh, the, the internet browser it's edge that will come on your um, that will come pre-installed on it and then what you want to do I mean if you use edge great um, <laughs> if you you probably use Chrome though so just do a search for Google Chrome um, install Chrome and then you want to sign into your apps so that way you'll have all your um, uh, shortcuts will be here and you'll be able to sign into Google now just bear in mind that with all of the services that you sign into um, from your uh, Shadow Boost gaming PC, you'll get lots of questions because Google will be going, well, wait, what's this? This is a different computer, and the IP will change as well, so you'll have to change it quite a lot. Once you've got um, Chrome installed, what I would then suggest you do is do a search on Chrome. In fact, I can do that here. And you want to do a search for GeForce Experience. And you want to download the latest version of the GeForce Experience, um, and that's this 
app here um, um, you may well already have it on but it's probably not the latest version and then when th this is the um, this is the overlay that when you press alt Z on your shadow if you've got it running this is how you can record live gameplay you can broadcast to to YouTube and all that sort of stuff and to, and to twitch so once you've got this set up uh, you want to go into the settings and you want to go through and you want want to start connecting your accounts so I've connected twitch and I've connected YouTube when you connect twitch actually be very careful because there is an extra setting uh, so if we go broadcast live and go settings make sure you scroll down to the bottom and where it says ingest server change it to a, a, uh, a city near you um, you can also run at high settings so 1080p 60 frames a second it'll work fine um, and you can also set up um, where you store your local videos and you can set up the recording quality as well again do it high um, 60 frames a second or whatever the in-game resolution is or 1080p that sort of stuff and GeForce experience that is how you're going to record gameplay and how you're going to um, how you're going to stream gameplay as well so we can close that up so that's cool that way um, now what you want to install next is the various um, game launchers so probably you know the first one is probably going to be Steam Oop, not the Steam charts I just want to go to Steam And you'll want to oh, let's do a search for Steam. There we go, there's Steam. And you want to install Steam. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with it, Steam is a, is a game store, um, pro, you know, the, 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 the foremost game store for PC games. Um, and uh, yeah, it's got loads and loads of stuff on. This is probably where you're going to get loads, loads and loads of your games. Um, different games you get from different places. So there's Steam. Epic, good old games. Um, some games you, you have to have different launchers for. So, for example, if you want to play Call of Duty like Warzone, you've got to get a Battle.net. Origin is for Bethesda, is it? Um, or is Origin, Origin? Origin is for Ubisoft, I think. Battlestate games, that is for Escape from Tarkov. Now, I would always recommend installing the Epic launcher. Um, so, if you go to, for example, Epic Game Store. Because the really cool thing about Epic is that they give away free games. Um, every week they've got a free game. And at Christmas at the moment they've given away like about 10 games. Um, there we go. So Darkest Dungeon is free. Um, and you just add them add them to your library. So it's a great way of getting good, good, good free games. Um, and what you can now do is now you've got these installed you'll fire up Steam and uh, we can maybe go to the store and buy a few games and if you, um, the one to start off with actually I would say if you haven't got any games already is Destiny 2 because Destiny 2 is free to play um, so you can download it um, and you'll be uh, and you can really test out your your shadow uh, otherwise if you bought games already or when you buy them um, they'll be in your library and you can just click on them and you go install and tell it where to install it. Pretty soon though, you'll be like, oh, wait a minute, I'm running out of space. So this is where you want to log in to your account. And you'll want to go to subscriptions and go down to the bottom. And you're probably gonna want to upgrade to at least another 256 gigabytes of, um, of hard drive space. The first two five six gigabytes they give you is an SSD, but you upgrade to that, and then what that gives you is, if we go into my computer, a second drive. So each drive is two hundred and fifty five gigabytes, two hundred and fifty six gigabytes long, and you can fill them up pretty quick. But I think with with two, you, you're pretty much good to go. So I've still got hundred gigabytes free on my D, sixty seven gigabytes free on my C. I won't install any anything else on the C drive. Uh, because I want that space free to say record videos or you know so that c the computer can use that um, but the thing I would say is don't get too hung up on having to have all of your games in that you own installed because your shadow PC is attached to a gigabit internet connection at the data center where it is so you can download massive games in 20 minutes you know tops you know you can download Warzone 100 gigabyte game 
you know, in, in 20 minutes. So it's almost like, um, a, uh, well, what's it? It, it's, it's, it's amazing actually, because you've got the best internet connection you can have on your Steam PC, even if your local PC doesn't have the greatest internet connection. Right, so there we go. So what we're going to do next is set up the USB peripherals on our Shadow Boost gaming PC. The Xbox controller and the um, USB mic that we talked about earlier. So make sure they're all plugged in. Go down to USB peripherals and ticks the box next to Microsoft controller. Now, this does click on and off, but it seems to recognize the controller all the time. No matter what. Now have a look for the USB mic. If it's not in that section, it'll be in the microphone section and then just tick those and, and enable it. Now, whether you're going to want to have it enabled, are you going to be using in-game chat? Um, are you going to be recording some gameplay with some commentary over the top? Um, maybe you're going to be streaming to Twitch, and that in that case, you're going to want to enable your microphone. Now, the next thing we're going to do, if you want to do it, is we're going to um, change the display settings so that we can play our shadow boost on our local tv now remember shadow boost can't control two monitors at once at the moment and even when it can you probably won't want to do it like that so what we need to do is change the settings on our local laptop our local pc and um, so what i need you to do is go to your local pc go to the search box and you want to search for display settings um, click on that and when you get into that, what you should see is that the um, your laptop or your computer is recognised two screens, your TV and your laptop. Make sure your, your TV is plugged into HDMI, make sure it's turned on, make sure it's on the right channel. And then you want to scroll down and you want to see the setting that says multiple, di multiple displays, extend these settings. You don't want to duplicate them. You want to extend them because this is, this is the bit that is going to allow us to drag the shadow app across to the TV and then play it on there. So what I've got to do next, I've got to switch back to my mobile phone because it's a little bit difficult to show you this on a screen capture program and then you can see exactly how it works. Okay, so there's the setting screen. Um, there's my HDMI that comes out and as you can see, my uh, desktop for my local laptop is now extended to my TV. So if we come back over here to the local laptop, um, and we minimize all of this like so now as you can see with the shadow that's running see it's still got the border around it if, if you click on that and you go full screen that that's now full screen so and we can just click somewhere else and I can't really do anything with this but if you click on that and then exit full screen mode we can actually click um, left click there and hold and we can move the app around and what you do is you move the app over onto your other screen like this and what it will do is it will automatically spot the resolution and adjust it accordingly so it's doing it now and then you can go full screen here and now that is the screen. So, so now what we've got is that's my local laptop, you know, with running the, all the local programs, and my shadow is now running on my TV. Now my my mouse is kind of trapped on the shadow at the moment. But if you click on there, and you click on uh, that sitting there, unlock cursor. You can probably just about see it. I can now move my cursor like that. My cursor is now on my local laptop so now we are ready and that, what I would suggest is when you go back to shadow lock it because some of the things it can get you the programs can get a little bit confused um, when you um, when you uh, when you unlock your cursor so now we're all ready to click on a game steam will start to fire it up give it a sec servers I have to pick the wrong game here really didn't I So let's pick a different game. <laughs> let's pick a different game that's not as complicated. Here we go. Iron Harvest. Da, 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 da. 
Here we go, fires up steam. For things like um, Warzone and stuff, it'll fire up the relevant launcher first as well. Here we go, Silver Deep, King Art Games. And there we go, once it's loaded. to do and there we go we are in to iron harvest we play it on our beautiful big tv 60 frames a second in fact <laughs> you can set up a set put on a setting in your geforce experience to give you your fps so it's firing along at 145 frames a second now the thing to remember is that is only on your local that sorry that is on your cloud pc things like this tv here can only manage 1080p 60 frames a second so there's no point in doing it any any faster um, and that my friends we, we've got you started there haven't we hopefully I've given you all the basics for getting started on your um, on your cloud uh, shadow uh, PC in fact what we can do is if I click on there unlock the cursor scroll back over to here we can bring that up for a nice little view of shadow cloud now if you if you've watched this and thinking oh I really fancy a shadow cloud PC they're brilliant they use some very special technology to give you virtually lag-free high-end PC gaming on your local crappy old hardware like this seven-year-old laptop. Um, it's very, very special indeed. There is a big waiting list at the moment. I think it's about six months you've got to wait to get one of these babies. But I would say if you want to dip your toe into high-end PC gaming and streaming and all that sort of stuff, this could be this could be the way to go. Anyway, that's enough from me. If you've got any questions about um, Shadow PCs, Shadow Cloud PCs, Put them in the uh, put them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to do more videos about them. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.